guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to my review of The Last of Us series, continuing on with episode 3. And in this episode, where we last left off, Tess sacrificed herself, well, sort of. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, in this episode, we follow Joel and Ellie as they have to go to Bill's area uh, so they can get uh, the truck so they can move forward uh, to get to the Fireflies. But that's not really what this entire episode is about, no. It focuses a lot more on Bill and his relationship with Frank. As we saw in the game, Bill had a companion who was more of a lover, and in the game, Joel had no idea who Frank was. In this episode, he actually knew who Frank was. She, he was aware who Frank was, and uh, from there we see him and his relationship with Frank. And if you've played the game, then you know by now that uh, Bill is gay. Like, uh, if you saw when uh, they left, uh, when Joel and Ellie uh, left, uh, Ellie stole some things, including a magazine involving men. It focuses a lot on Bill and Frank's relationship together, how they met, and how their relationship ended. And, wow, it is deep. Now, this is the episode that completely separates it apart from the game. Because, like I mentioned before, in the game, uh, we had no idea who Frank was, but we know who Frank is in this, and... Uh, the way it happens, it's it plays out a lot more like a love story. This is a love story episode, basically between uh, Bill and Frank. And let, let me just say right now, their relationship is fantastic. The way their chemistry works together, and it's honestly really heartbreaking. I mean, their relationship was very strong. And they've been having this relationship for years. And when we see how it ends... It's pretty heartbreaking and tragic. I mean, I'm not going to go further into spoiler territory because the end of their relationship is actually quite sad and I almost teared up. So, despite the fact that this is more focused on a secondary character who isn't in the game that much and it focuses far more on him and his relationship, people would probably think that this would just be a filler episode because it has nothing to do with what happened in the game but it's okay to change things that weren't in the game and this I really dug what was going on here I mean their relationship was so strong and their performances all around it was just beautiful and even though this doesn't focus much on the zombies in fact there's like almost no zombies in this one we only see one pretty much that's basically it and that's okay because The Last of Us isn't really about killing zombies. It's more about the relationship and the struggles that characters had. And I feel like uh, the direction uh, with this episode just fits so perfectly. And the way they just go all out with this one relationship in this episode. And it is an hour and 20 minutes long. I just really dug what was going on. And it had me really caring a lot more for Bill and Frank too. Like uh, they have some really strong moments. And it's nice to know that. In the game, Bill was always just angry and wanted nothing to do with other people. But seeing his other character, like the other characteristics he has inside of him, like his happiness and how much he can actually feel deep pain inside of him in terms of sadness, it's just, it just handled so beautifully. I am utterly shocked at how well they put this out. And while you're watching it, it might not seem like you're watching another episode of The Last of Us in terms of its horrific imagery or its violence. I mean, there is, you know, shootouts, but that's not really what this entire episode is about because it shows that The Last of Us is a lot more than just about the action. No, it's a lot more about the drama than it is the action that these characters, how we see them just struggle so much. And Bill really did have a good life when Frank came into his life. And just seeing these two together, it just really warmed my heart seeing them together. It really just hit me, like, really hard. And just when it had to end, yeah, it's... I mean, I've already explained it enough. The best way I can describe this episode is that it separates it apart and it doesn't do anything to completely ruin the experience. I mean, the journey is more than just about Joel and Ellie. I mean, the game, it focused a lot on other characters that were also really well developed. And I think F Bill and Frank here were executed super well here. And it's far more different than how we were introduced to Bill in the game. And it's something that really never hurts. The changes that they have made to this 
to separate apart from the game just make the experience all the more exciting, especially when it comes to the release of the next episode. This is another beautiful episode, and it's by far the biggest tearjerker episode so far, and it's probably going to get even deeper later down the line, and wow, three episodes in a row, and what more can I say? They have really been knocking out of the park with this. I know this is the third time I've given uh, an episode a perfect score. That's probably going to change, but really, I just... It's really hard for me to find a flaw, and if I just... If I mentioned something that I didn't like about the episode, then I would bring it up, but there was just nothing for me to complain about here. It was executed beautifully. Like, this show is on a roll, and it's guaranteed to be one of the best shows of the year. I mean, so many people are already talking about it. I mean, they have been talking about it ever since the pilot, and we're already going to get season two. So, yeah, needless to say, there's no excuse not to watch it. You just gotta, you just gotta watch it. I'm continuing to watch it, and I just hope it doesn't end anytime soon. I mean, it is going to, but uh, they've they've really won me over with this what they've been doing. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Word out.